What up guys and welcome back to the channel. Guys, today you want to know why China has become so successful? Come with me, let me show you. What is up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly truly grateful as always and to all those who have been watching my videos thank you so much and if this is your first time do me a favor click the subscribe button so we can go on this motorcycle vlogging journey together it's another beautiful day out here in shanghai and as usual i'm out on the honda cv 500x the main motive of this video today is to take you around some of the industrial zones some of the industrial zones of Shanghai so there might be someone out there who's wondering how China has been able to develop in a space of about 30 to 40 years for anyone who has visited China before you might be able to relate to what I'm going to talk about and show in this video but for anyone who has never been to China this might be an eye opener so today on this ride I'm going to take you around one of the industrial zones here in Shanghai so you can take a look and see how they did it and China became the manufacturing hub of the world come with me let's go so if you can see in the distance all these are factories there are no residential areas around and it's dotted in all districts and all districts of Shanghai are basically like this so and in some cases you'll see a factory building office building and dormitories for for staff and before I go on with this video let me just give a disclaimer here I'm not here to do politics today so anyone who wants to make this political please um, what I'm going to do is just showing you what the reality on the ground so like I was saying China built industrial zones almost everywhere so this whole area that I'm riding at is one of the just one of the industrial zones here in Shanghai I don't know how many they are but like I said almost every district has an industrial zone so to my to my right you'll see dormitories to my left you'll see um, companies and office buildings all of these are offices and you can see the names Exalta Powder Coatings Shanghai Company Limiters If you really want to know why China has developed so much, you need to visit some of these places to see the number of factories that have been set up. And this has been going on for over 30, 40 years. With what my eyes have seen, development is not rocket science. You just need to get your planning really well and like they say in Dubai they'll build it and the world will come and that's what China did almost anything you pick up is made in China well it's a little different now because there are other countries that are becoming manufacturing hubs as well but I mean we all know that majority of products in this world are made in China you can pick up a GoPro and it's made in China you pick up a TV anywhere in the world it's made in China take a look for yourself and these are what we can call industrial they call them industrial zones but you can rightfully refer to them as industrial cities just take a look at that Shimpo showing whatever logistics company 
this whole area is still part of the industrial zone no residential no residential areas here it's all factories it goes all the way left right everywhere so you can imagine if you have this if you have these zones dotted out dotted all over the country you can imagine how much revenue you're going to generate all you do is produce and the world will bring their money and buy from you look at that office buildings factories office buildings oh i like those lions Ooh, they look so real <laughs> windows and doors health and cosmetics company limited so I'm still in the industrial zone guys just showing you different factory buildings echo I don't know what they produce in here you can see their warehouse materials company Svensson so all these are a mixture of local and foreign companies Forvec sounds German Some of these factories companies have been operating for many 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 years it's another one pharmaceutical company right there bhs what is this corrugated machinery not even sure what that means but that just goes to show you how much effort has been put into this industrialization thing Decoration engineering. It's just past, it's just, it's 3 27 p.m. As you can see, lots of people around here, they look like workers, maybe running shifts. Some are going to work, some are going home. Shanghai Daishowa Company Limited. I don't know what they produce, but to your left, to your right, the factories are everywhere. Big, small, old, new. There's just no end in sight. Centec Textile Dyeing Company. So let me know what you think, guys. Has any of you had this experience before? Have you visited any of these factory areas? All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the ride around the factory area, one of the factory areas here in Shanghai with me. And I hope you learned one or two things from it. So when, when you hear about China rising, this is one of the main reasons why this is happening. Built industrial zones everywhere and this is just one district in Shanghai that I went to show you and I couldn't even explore the whole industrial zone. What else would you like to see in Shanghai? Just let me know in the comment section and I'll try to make time to go and make that video for you. So once again, thank you so much for watching. It's been awesome as usual with my Honda CB500X. Until I see you in the next video guys, always ride legal and ride safe. Peace and I'm out.